Antonia Aldehuela has been unemployed for more than five years, just like her husband and her son. The family from Barcelona lives from her husband's pension. They don't receive social welfare payments. They can't meet their mortgage payments, and they're threatened with repossession and eviction. At the moment, we have to pay almost 900 euros to the bank. But we don't have it. And if we did, no money would be left over, not for food or anything else. Protests are held frequently in front of bank branch offices in the center of Barcelona. Since the crisis began, thousands of Spaniards are threatened with eviction. I have a little three-year-old daughter. When I got pregnant, I was fired, just like that. There was a bit of back and forth, but ultimately, I was out on the street. At the moment, I'd do anything, no matter what, as long as I get paid. Spain is currently one of the countries in Europe with the highest unemployment rate, about 23%. Only Greece has a higher proportion of jobless people, 25%. But European statistics count school pupils and students as unemployed. Losing your job in Greece is especially threatening. Unemployment benefits run out after 12 months, and then there's no more help from the state. Greece has no social welfare insurance. Since the crisis began, many companies, especially small and mid-sized businesses, have trouble getting credit from the bank. At this print shop near Athens, that means the owner can't invest in new machines or hire new people. Up to now, I haven't had to let anyone go. I'll keep people on board as long as possible. There is work to be done. We try to offer customers lower prices and discounts. But it's still a big effort to find work for all my employees. What we've done is to reduce the hours in their work week. We used to work in three shifts. Now we do less. The further north you go in Europe, the lower the unemployment rate. In France, it's currently at a little more than 10 percent. The French government has made job creation its top goal. But so far without much success. As long as the economy doesn't recover and the country doesn't become competitive again, job creation initiatives won't help much. I haven't noticed any fundamental change. I think it's getting harder and harder to find a job. There is still work out there, but you have to really make an effort. It's hard to find something. I don't expect to get a job here. I already tried everything I could before I came here to the job center. At 10 percent unemployment, France is in the middle of the European range. Germany has Europe's lowest unemployment rate, about 5 percent. Northern and southern Europe are drifting apart. Spain is seeing the first encouraging signs in the labor market. The economy is very gradually recovering. In March, the number of unemployed fell by about 60,000.